you know, this has got a special rock samphire in it called Mermaid Kisses. I did, because I just read it to you. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Cocktail Corner. It's and Friday. it's January. And it's January. Um, we're making this in between making a no-bake chocolate tart. Yeah. What else can you do between waiting for somebody to come out of the fridge for three hours? Have a little drinky poo. We'll have a little drinky poo. So this will go out before the chocolate tart, but that's the way it goes. So we are going to make a French 75. Yeah. Okay, one of my favourites. I love French 75. Although, to be honest, because we are still kind of using up stuff from Christmas, mm -hmm. it's going to become an Italian 75 because we're using Prosecco and not Champagne. Yeah. Mainly because we're just cheapskates who did buy Champagne. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that keen on Champagne. No, and you, but you quite like this Prosecco. We've, I we do like use this one. this particular brand of Prosecco in our peach bellinis. Yeah, yeah, because it's got peaches in it. Yeah. Well, peach. Peachy flavour. But it will work with this. Um, we're using uh, Mermaid Gin, which is from the Isle of Wight. Yeah. You like the red one as well, the pink one. The pink one is um, lush. But this is good too. I love the bottle. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on. Anyone who's into gin nowadays, and this rum as well, they're making so many different bottles. It's like yeah. perfume bottles gone mad. Look at this one then. Yeah, that's a super duper fancy one. We were thinking of using that one. Um, but, but it's this a super is extra strength super gin. strength, this one. Hence why it's got dust on it, because I'm still frightened to actually But we've start got using it. both these bottles because we're going to turn them into lamps. Yeah, we're going to turn them into lamps. Because we'll I that. think they're ace. That'll be a video. Right, so we are going to make a French 75, which is basically gin with some lemon juice and some sugar syrup to sweeten it down a bit, topped up with fizz. Fizz. Yeah, we were going to make this a couple of days before New Year, but to be honest, we couldn't get around to it. I just think it went really quick. Yeah, it did. It was a really strange time, Twix, most really of this time. Was. It was really fast, wasn't it? Um, and I had a lot of planning to do for Big Eye Golf as well, so my head was a bit weird mm -hmm. for a few days. It's what it happens. So we need to um, cut a, la a lemon. A la 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 lemon. 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 Do you know lemons are normally green? Do you know, mm. that's funny you said that, because I was watching TV yesterday... And it was an advert came on for a drink or a cocktail or something. And the person there said, squeeze a lemon. And it was green. green. And yeah. I thought, that's a lime. No, no, But lemon. it wasn't. Yeah. I think, I think they deliberately try to make them yellow in this country or in the supermarkets anyway, to, so you can tell the difference. It's sort of, I mean, obviously lemons are bigger than limes, but I think it... Um, being yellow makes it you think that they're ripe. Yeah, but it's funny sometimes green. you see them and they're kind of green and yellow. And you yeah. go, well, maybe I shouldn't be getting that, but actually they're, they're exactly fine. Right. So, so we just want we want one and a half ounces of gin. So we're using this little measure today. Okay. So one and a half ounces of gin. This is per is this drink. Right. So so we're going to need three ounces. To measure it up, go on then. So it's one and a half ounce per glass. Let's call it three ounces. Do two of those. Right, so no, there's there are two ounce measure there, so I can do two and a one. As opposed to two one and a half. Yeah. Okay, fine. Lovely. Into the shaker. Into the shaker, but into a shaker with the ice in it. You're basically just chilling the drink down. Um, the fizz has already been in the fridge, so it doesn't need to be chilled down anymore. Right, Lovely. three of gin. Yep. Uh, you then need a little bit of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce. So that's, that's an ounce fun. and a half. Yeah. Which is handy as you're actually doing things in one and a half ounces, which you know, works for me. Cool, look, cool, at, look that. at that. Well, uh, the juice of a lemon. That okay. was perfect. Juice of one lemon for two people. There you okay. go. And the same amount of simple syrup. They call it simple syrup, but it's sugar syrup. Um, we buy this one. Moaning. But there's Morning. loads. I mean, you can get it. You it. can get it by the uh, coffee section. Um, or you can make your own. It's just basically water and, and sugar. It's but equal we, parts sugar and water. Yeah, we will make. We will do a little recipe of it just to show you, but it's quite thick. Because it's a sugar syrup. Okay, it's a sugar syrup. Right. Stick that into there as well. Pop your lid on. Give it a shake. Chill it down. Whoops. And not knock it over like I'm going to no. do then. When you're doing that, I'll do this bit. There you go. Happy New Year, everybody. By the time you see this, it'll be a few days in, but that's fine. Yep. Every day is a new day, and every day is a new year for me. Um, we're using champagne flutes, but you can use any any glass you like. Plank glass, I do. 
<laughs> I was so gonna, I, I know. I was going to do um, a recipe with um, Guinness and champagne and oh. uh, what else was it? Blackcurrant and something. You said no. No. It sounded we, like we'll medicine. We'll do it soon. We'll do it soon. Right. So pop some of that into there. Each glass. Yeah, kind of share it amongst it, really. Of course, it depends how big a glass is. I say about that much, really. Mm, still a fair bit in there. Yeah, that'll probably be enough. It's up to you. Want more gin or more champagne? <laughs> or a bigger glass. Oh, I know. Shall I put more in one? Go half and half. Go half and half. Really difficult because the other glasses we got are really big, so we know they wouldn't have worked. There you That's go. Fine. That's it. Yeah, so it's kind of about half and half, really. Lovely. Top them up, and ideally you should have a little um, slither of lemon. A slither? Mm. If you wish. Slither of lemon. Slither of lemon. Well, I think if you're going to do that, you probably need to cut a little line in it and you stick it on the edge. There you go. And that, everyone, is a French 75, or an Italian 75, but it's definitely a 75. You, know, you can use a English sparkling wine if you've really got that much money, but that's okay. So we're going to take a photograph of these, we're going to clear this out of the way, we're going to give it a taste. I'm going to have this one I'm stirring now because it's got slightly less gin in okay, it. Okay, we suggest stirring them up slightly because that way you get the flavour all the way through. But just be careful because they're quite fizzy. Oh, that's yours. I do apologise. Thank you. There we go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy New may Year again. New Year. Be healthy, happy and wealthy. And may all your resolutions have already got out the window because it doesn't really matter. Just get on with life and enjoy it. Oh, that's nice. Good, isn't it? I like that one. Mm, knew you'd like this one. You didn't like the others the other day, but that's nice. Very sharp because the lemon's really cut in. Mm. The sweetness comes in a little bit later. Oh, it's like it's like nice. a posh gin and tonic. It's like a posh gin and tonic, which is literally what it is. Instead of the tonic, you're using proper food. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Enjoy, everybody. This is a great one. If you like your gin and tonics, give it a whirl. Absolutely. So, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to Big Oggy World and come and join me on Big Oggy Golf and subscribe there too because we're trying to dovetail the channels together. Mm -hmm. One will help pay the other one. Hopefully. This this one, if it gets big enough, will help pay for all my jollies out having a good time hitting balls around. Yeah. Yeah. And, and hopefully give Kelly a few nice things too. You are on board yet? You're not there for a Bye, everybody. I'm, I'm going now before it um, gets too dangerous. Yeah. We'll see you in a few hours, according to the edit, and then we'll finish the uh, chocolate, chocolate tart. Chocolate tart. See you later, alligator. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good this. Nice one. I don't know if it's the gin or what it is, but it makes it so smooth. Good, isn't it? It could be because the gin's really good. Mm. So, the, like, the gin itself is really smooth. But it's not got that harshness of... No, you could use tonic. carver with this. Carver's quite rough, I find, but you could probably get away with carver with this. But very good. Okay.